Hey guys, this is Mark. The Catalyst UI Builder has been around for some time now. It's been uh, a little less than two years that we released this fantastic feature. And we see quite a few applications being developed with UI Builder. And if you haven't experienced it with UI Builder, you can build an app where you target uh, a web browser that runs on a, on a desktop. And exactly the same application is uh, can be configured to run on a mobile device or you could just target mobile devices it is completely up to you and for anyone who is building a mobile app with ui builder question comes to mind and we get a lot of those questions how do i get my application built with ui builder into app stores google play or apple app store and uh, typically we're saying okay well you need to build a hybrid app and you need to package it up uh, into a native application and just publish to the App Store. And uh, while it is possible, we definitely recognize that that process is at times pain is painful. So to make it easier, we came up with two ways for you to publish your application built with UI Builder into App Stores. And uh, one of them, uh, one of these approaches is using a, uh, an app that we already have in the App Store called Backendless Viewer. So Backendless Viewer is, uh, is an application that you will find now in uh, Google Play and Apple App Store. You can download it on your device and it provides uh, a variety of functionalities. Uh, specifically, there are uh, two main things that you can do with Backendless Viewer. One is you can scan a QR code that is provided to you in Backendless Console and preview your application on the, on the mobile device. And second thing, which is uh, the, the big thing that I'm, that I'm actually announcing now, is that you can publish your application that you build uh, with UI Builder directly from the console into Backendless Viewer directory. And Backendless Viewer directory is essentially a list of all the apps that were published into Backendless Viewer directory. And you can instantly launch your app from that directory on Backendless Viewer. Uh, you can bookmark it and put it into the favorites category uh, available in Backendless Viewer. And in the favorites, you can actually mark and say, okay, launch this app by default. And this way, when you run Backendless Viewer, your application will start automatically and your users can experience it right away. So what this does is it gives you instant availability of your application for anyone who downloads Backendless Viewer. Of course, uh, this will work for anyone who doesn't really care about your own app branding and identity in the App Store because users and customers of your application will have to download Backendless Viewer to experience and have access to your application. But that doesn't include everyone. For anyone else who wants to have their own branding and identity, we published a, uh, a project into the backendless Git, GitHub repository, which we call uh, Native Shell. And Native Shell is a Flutter project that you can compile to run on Android or iOS uh, applications natively. And you can embed your UI Builder application into it where all the files, everything that makes up your UI application is prepackaged into that native shell. And then we also provide a bridge between that native code that uh, the shell makes up and your UI builder application. In fact, we are in the process of preparing some codeless blocks that will enable data exchange from UI builder application and native shell and vice versa. So you can do things such as ask uh, for native permissions or obtain contact lists, just whatever the capabilities exist that are in the native application, they become available within UI Builder. There's going to be more uh, content and uh, videos published on that topic. But for now, I would like to demonstrate the first approach, which is publishing uh, your app into UI Builder. It is very simple and I will quickly demonstrate what it actually looks like in Backendless Viewer. Uh, how that app shows up, how you can find it, how you can bookmark it, and so on. And this is really a game changer because the time and the distance from having an app that is running in UI Builder to the point where it shows up in the App Store in Backendless Viewer directory is now as quick as a push of a button. So let's jump into the demo and see how that works. I have shared the screen of my mobile device on the desktop so I can record this video for you. 
and in here I already have Back Endless Viewer uh, installed, but if you don't, just head uh, over to uh, Google Play Store if you're on Android or Apple Store on iOS, search for Back Endless, you'll find Back Endless Viewer in there, and here, since I already have it installed, I can just run the application and the Back Endless Viewer, when it starts, it loads uh, a list of all the applications that are published into Back Endless Viewer directory. So here we get a list of all the apps that we already have in there. And then for any of these apps, if you tap on it, it will run the application for you. You could also uh, select the uh, applications uh, or an application that you need to uh, get quick access to just by tapping the heart. And uh, let's say I have selected these two and then, then they are added to favorites. And notice that here you can select using this radio buttons, the one that you would want to start by default whenever Backendless Viewer uh, runs. So I have selected CRM, but you could also just launch that application directly from either your favorites screen or directly from here. So if we launch the CRM app, for instance, uh, the application is being loaded and I'm already logged in into it, so I can just start experience this uh, application right away. Uh, here, for just like with this application or any other app that is running in Backendless Viewer, if you do a long tap, which is what I'm doing right now, you cannot really see it on the screen, you get this bar at the top that gives you an ability to go back to the Backendless Viewer directory. Also notice that I have this CRM selected with this radio button right here, this, this one right here. So if I quit my uh, uh, backendless viewer and run it again, then this application will run automatically out of the box without you needing to uh, select it and run it from backendless viewer directory. So as you can see, now this application uh, starts directly out of the box. So this is the functionality related to the directory. The uh, additional functionality that we have here is the ability to work with a QR code. So here is uh, my device and I'm scanning and you get this infinite tunnel and uh, let me demonstrate how that would work with uh, UI Builder if you're in, if you haven't tried it yet. So this is my application and uh, in here uh, what uh, we have is in the preview section uh, there is a desktop preview which will run this page and by the way this page it's a it's a codeless tic-tac-toe as it says here it's a complete game uh, that is written entirely in codeless so if I want to preview this page on the in, in backendless viewer just do the mobile preview you get this QR code and uh, in here let me move my device to the side and I will just scan this QR code and you will see that this page it will be loaded in Backendless Viewer in the preview mode. So I can just play my tic-tac-toe and uh, experience the application, see how well it works. And uh, it works exactly as I uh, anticipated the way it is built. So now, uh, after you preview it, the question is how do you publish your application that is ready to go into Backendless Viewer? So for this, whenever you go into the publish the container uh, pop-up right here, you can select a directory where it will be published. So in here, let me select a, uh, a directory where it will be published. And uh, let's say it's going to be app. And notice, uh, and this is, by the way, just for the publishing it into, uh, into your uh, file storage, so it is available as a web app. But in here, down below, you can see there is a section for publishing that application into Backendless Viewer. It gives you a preview of the icon and the name that will be assigned. Both of these, the icon and the name, are configured on the main dashboard of your Backendless application. Let me do this first, and then I will uh, show you how you can change the name and upload the icon. So now, if you click Publish, this application is being published uh, and packaged uh, for, for the uh, desktop version, for the browser version, but it is also now available in the Backendless Viewer directory. So for this, let me switch to my mobile device. So now, as you can see, here's our application, Tic-Tac-Toe, and uh, we can just run it directly from the directory and experience this application. So a very straightforward way to get your apps directly into 
the app store and it will be running within uh, backendless viewer now i mentioned that i will show how to change the name of the application and the icon so if you click on this home icon and in here this is the icon that will be used uh, in backendless viewer for your application so you can click on this pen pencil and modify the app icon and then to change the name just click on this icon right here modify the name and that will be the name if you modify the name after you published it to backendless viewer I believe it will become uh, that change will become instantaneous as well in the backendless viewer directory so that's backendless viewer guys i hope you found this useful i believe it is a, a very very convenient uh, way to get your apps directly to your customers once again if the actual personal branding in the app store is uh, well, not personal but the app branding in the app store is not critical for your application Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found this useful. And as always, happy backendless coding.